I, uh... Hey, guys. This seems like a good opportunity because I can see a couple of them are on here already to say thank you to our graphics team for their amazing work over the last couple, three weeks that we've been doing this campaign. Like, we really appreciate everything you're doing. I can see you guys are on here, so thank you so much. I'm going to come on now with one of the players from The 20, and she's joining me right now, which I'm super excited about. Drum roll! Hey, Marin Mielder, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm really good. Thank you so much for coming on to join us. How have you been doing? Where are you in the world? Uh, I'm at home in Norway for the moment. Cool. Um, been here two weeks now, so uh, yeah, it's been good. Lots of open space for you to yeah. like and practice? Yeah, yeah. No, I've been actually walking a lot. There's a lot of mountains in Norway, so... Uh, it's been a lot of hiking, actually. Oh, my God. I'm so jealous. Why are you saying that when I'm in central Manchester, living in a city centre apartment with no grass around me for miles? <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's really nice to be home and get a lot of space, as you say, and, uh, yeah, a lot of opportunities to, to do different things. I think a special shout out to Norway is probably one of the most beautiful places that you'll ever visit. So if there's any fans from anywhere else in the world watching right now, guys, go to Norway. Like when the lockdown's lifted, obviously don't go now. But when you're allowed to go to Norway, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I totally agree with you. <laughs> you should. I mean, it would be really bad if you did it. <laughs> yeah. I, I am so glad you come, you've come on. This, before I kind of go on to the main reason why I brought you on, mm -hmm. I was hoping that maybe like with everybody listening, I know everyone's going through really difficult times at the moment all over the world. Is there any advice you can give to people about staying fit and healthy? I know you said you've been doing a lot of walking and stuff and there'll mm -hmm. be loads of football fans out there. What, what, would, you, what would be your top tips? Um, I think actually one of my top tips would be to, to go out even though you don't have to run or do anything really just walk yeah um i found that really nice like it's a way to to yeah just relax even though you're exercising um and i have good company in my dog so of course that helps a lot but find a friend or anyone and you can you can walk and talk um it's a good chance to clear your head as well I, yeah i walk on my own it's when I do my best thinking. I'm crazy, so I'm all over the place. And when I walk on my own, it's my like one time where I'm quiet. Yeah. No, but it's a, it's yeah, it's a, it's a good opportunity to just go out and well, it's been really good weather in England for a long, long time now. So uh, I experienced experienced that. I was there for two months in the lockdown, uh, and the weather was so good. So the highlight of the day was to go outside. Uh, just enjoy the weather or do my exercise or walk the dog and then I came home here and the weather's been really good so I've been uh, quite lucky. Yeah it has been pretty beautiful to be fair. Um, mm. The main reason obviously bringing you on, uh, we are raising money at the moment, 80% of the money that we are raising from uh, the Together Against Corona campaign is going to fight COVID-19 which is the whole reason where you know, football has been stopped is the whole reason they were inside our houses. And you, Marin, have donated to us a really special piece of your history. I'm just going to show everyone what you've donated to us because we're so appreciative. Marin has given us this jersey. Can you tell everyone, like, a little bit about this specific jersey? Do you remember when this is from? Yeah, it is from the World Cup, um, the game against France last summer. Um, big game against the host nation. Um, tough even, game. It was a really tough game. I mean, knew that before the game as well. But I think just playing against the host nation and like everything leading up to it, the atmosphere during the game uh, was incredible. So I think it is a game that all of us will remember. For me, as like I collect football jerseys and I have lots and lots of them. My wife is like honestly going to chuck me out. There's like hundreds of them in my flat. But for me, <laughs> what's so special about this and what makes this so unique is like details like this that I just want to show everyone. You mm. cannot get a jersey anywhere in the world 
that has like the stamp of approval that this is like official this is match worn this is this can only be given to a player or to i guess a member of your coaching staff it's so unique to you guys it's so mm. personal to you you can't go into a nike shop or an adidas shop and buy that off the shelf and for me as a fan like that and your autograph obviously is what makes it so special like it actually belonged to you mm. I know for you you're probably thinking now oh I wish I'd not given away my prize <laughs> <laughs> the good the good thing is that we get two from every game so I always have one spare one if I don't like give it to someone on the other team like swap shirts or anything and, and if it is from a really special game where I remember like something special, then I would give it to my mom and dad. They always want one of the shirts. So yeah, he has a really big collection as well, my dad. So um, he can probably compete. Way does he collect, collect like worldwide or does he? Collect... Yeah, no, it's more it's more the ones I've had and um, uh... the shirts I've swapped. Uh, with other players, and then I, my older brother, he was playing as well, so it's his shirts as well so yeah he has a big collection downstairs oh my god I'm so jealous you need to tell me where he lives so I can go and <laughs> I, I and does he get you to sign them or does he just get you to give them across no uh, so yeah he wants me to sign them and then like the really special one he wants to frame them so he has a couple of them framed in so I uh this thing ever <laughs> Your dad, that is so <laughs> nice. On, on that and like collecting jerseys, have you seen any of our campaign? Like we've released 20 players, like including yourself, obviously. So 19 other players. Mm -hmm. And they're like, I couldn't believe it when I saw the list myself. Like big up to Hedvig Lindahl and to Daniela as well, the two founders. It's like insane, the people mm -hmm. that we've got on the list. Like we've got, we've got some of your obviously teammates, like both mm -hmm. Norway and obviously Chelsea as well. And we've yeah. got the world's best players. I mean, like Peniel Harder and Lucy Bronze, uh, just naming two. So mm. look at the list of 20. You could have one of those. <laughs> I'm putting you in a tough position now because they're your mates. It's a, good, uh, it's a good team and squad, I would say. But um, <laughs> if I was to pick one, I think it would be uh, England's number nine. <laughs> Beth? Yeah. It? Yeah. You would take a lioness shirt. No, just she's she's a good friend of mine, and uh, England's number nine is quite iconic, even here in Norway. So, um, and then also, like as I said, she's a good friend of mine, and the way she has been developing the last years has been amazing to see. Um, yeah, she's a top player, uh, been working so hard, and then the season she said now has been unbelievable. So I think not only me, but a lot of people out there want her jersey. I mean, no doubt, like Sam Kerr comes in and Beth England almost gets stronger. <laughs> like, mate, are you going to stop scoring goals? Like, oh, there's a chance. She's absolutely lethal. And mm. she's still so young. She's got so much, like, l more in her career to prove. And in that England um, number nine shirt, uh, it's such a scary prospect for other nations. Mm. And somebody can own that shirt, guys. Anybody that's watching, we have the England number nine home shirt Beth England has signed it herself <laughs> she scored in that jersey as well it's from the game against Czech Republic in November mm -hmm. and she scored uh, from with a volley as well it was a really good goal so mm -hmm. thank you Beth England shout out to you as well uh, so finally if you don't mind because I know a lot of your uh, followers will be watching this mm -hmm. can you tell them how they can go about winning this jersey and I'll just bring it up again so how can everybody go about winning this uh, you have to go uh, to the one goal org uh, uh, Instagram, go on the bio, uh, go in to the website um, and then pick the jersey you want uh, to win. And then you uh, donate five pounds. And uh, yeah. Yeah. And guys, you have 24 hours. Like this yeah. is the closing 24 hours. So please do get in there quickly because I don't want you guys regretting not getting hold of this Norway classic because it, <laughs> it's, it's going to go. Um, thank you so much for coming on to talk to us. I did promise a friend of mine, Lucas Mee, who's a massive Chelsea fan, he mentioned something about a PSG goal and he just wanted to say you're a legend. So oh. pass that on. Yeah, I, thank, thank you. Know you. What I'm <laughs> don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
I will never, I will never forget that one. <laughs> he also sent with me the YouTube clip, so I am, um, I could be reminded of your greatness. I'm a Newcastle United fan, so um, oh, okay. <laughs> so he's a he's a massive Chelsea fan. So for for him, you're you're an icon, and obviously all the Chelsea fans out there will be absolutely wanting this so much. So thank you for coming on to talk to us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you, Marin. Uh, guys, get donating. Five pounds. It's the cost of a couple of cups of coffee, man. Just get on there. Five pounds. You've got 24 hours left. Thank you, Marin. We'll see you Thank later. You. Have a yeah. good one. Bye. Bye bye. Have you seen any of our campaign? Like, we've released 20 players, like, including yourself, obviously. So, 19 other players. Mm -hmm. And they're like, I couldn't believe it when I saw the list myself. Like, big up to Hedvig Lindahl and to Daniela as well, the two founders. It's like insane the people that we've got on the list. Like we've got, we've got some of your obviously teammates, like both Norway and obviously Chelsea as well. And we've yeah. got the world's best players. I mean, like Peniel Harder and Lucy Bronze, uh, just naming two. So mm. look at the list of twenty. You could have one of those. <laughs> I'm putting you in a tough position now because they're your mates. Who's it's a good, uh, it's a good team and squad, I would say. But um, if I was to pick one, I think it would be uh, England's number nine. <laughs> Beth, yeah, it? yeah. You would take a lioness shirt. No, just she's she's a good friend of mine, and uh, England's number nine is quite iconic, even here in Norway. So, um, and then also, like as I said, she's a good friend of mine, and. The way she has been developing the last years has been amazing to see. Um, yeah, she's a top player, uh, been working so hard. And then the season she said now has been unbelievable. So I think not only me, but a lot of people out there want her jersey. I mean, no doubt. Like Sam Kerr comes in and Beth England almost gets stronger. <laughs> like, mate, are you going to stop scoring goals? Like, <laughs>